Welcome back everyone. Today we're still on the theme of sticks but we've got for a shorter one this time. We're looking at the Escream stick or the Cali stick. Uh, we're looking at single technique to start off with. So you only need one. We will be moving on to dual weapons later on. And today we are going to be looking at the four main attacks. So the work we're looking at today is using just a single scream stick or a Kali stick and uh, we're just going to go through the four main diagonal attacks. Make sure you've got a good grip. Um, a lot of people when they spin, they open out their hand and they just lose that grip. Do not open out your hand when you're doing this. Keep that grip nice and tight. The spin comes from the wrist. We're not spinning today, but just make sure that grip is tight. It's like a, a He-Man hold, which I call He-Man hold, where you're, you're gripping all the way through. <clears throat> Make sure that grip is firm. Now we have um, four main diagonal attacks going from the opponent's left shoulder to right, right shoulder to left hip, and the opposites coming up. So our number one is striking down. So make a nice big movement. The stick starts behind you, comes down diagonally, so it's coming across as if you're gonna hit into the collarbone here. So we're striking through. It comes up and we strike through on the opposite side. So we have our one comes diagonally across. Our two comes diagonally across and it's on the downward motion. Our three is coming up and our four is coming up. So we have one coming in for the left collarbone uh, we have two coming in for the right collarbone. We have three coming in for the left hip or the left knee. And four coming up again on the right hand side. So a one, lift the staff up, sorry, lift the, the screamer up nice and high. It strikes down, make sure the tip is in front. Stroke it through. Lift it up, stroke it through. Turn it, stroke it up, turn it, stroke it up. As you're starting with this, make it big. If you're big, you can make sure you've got that shape. So even if your arm is pretty straight and it's coming through, it helps you understand that movement. And then as and when you're comfortable with these attacks, you can make them smaller and quicker. Now look at these individually, don't try and put them together for now. So we have our one, we have our two, we have our three, we have our four. Okay, let's do that again. One, two, three, four. Good. Practice those as individual movements and then there's more fight right bite size coming up throughout the next week and a bit looking at drills. Thanks again for joining me. Remember, practice, be safe when you practice, and if you haven't already, subscribe uh, to the channel. Please give it a thumbs up on the video, and please, 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 please share it as much as you can. See you again next time.